Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Amanda Starr's Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm extremely, extremely, extremely happy to be reviewing Britney Spears' Fantasy Eau de Toilette. Um, this perfume launched this year, 2015, and technically it launched right before uh, Fantasy Intimate Edition and was another um, spin-off to the Fantasy line, except for this one was exclusive to Brazil to a... Um, shop called Renner, so it kind of goes by two names. It either goes by Britney Spears Fantasy Eau de Toilette, or it goes by Britney Spears Fantasy um, Renner Edition. And so this is just simply what it was. was not a, a uh, intimate, uh, not an intimate, a Eau de Toilette version of the original Fantasy. And I, for some reason, cannot talk today. So they changed the box a little bit different. Um, this is actually like the Brazil box. Um, they the way that they designed the boxes in Brazil is a little bit different. I know that some of the other fantasy boxes are almost identical to this kind of shape, where it's not the full rectangle. It is still the same height, but instead of it being a full square all the way around, it's not. It's actually a little bit more of a rectangle because it's a little bit taller than it is wide. So I mean, they kind of cut off a little bit of a chunk on it. So, but this is the box. It's kind of in the Renner colors, which is just kind of red, white, and gold. They threw the pink in there because Fantasy's pink, and it's kind of lined in green, like the original Fantasy had, like the little green swirls. So, the bottle this time looks like this, and it's kind of this milky red colored glass. The crystals are pink this time. The neck is actually gold. It looks a little more silver on here, but it's actually gold, and the same with the sprayer. Sprayers, also gold. So this time, they didn't really change much of the notes. They made it more suitable for Brazil and the Brazilian weather, which Brazil is closer to the equator, so you get more, um, it's more heat and more hot. So more Eau de Toilette perfumes work better down there than they do up here, and they last longer down there. So with this one, the notes are, like I said, same as the original. So opens with lychee, yellow quince, exotic kiwi with the heart notes of caramel, which is the only note that's actually been different. They took out the cupcake and replaced it with caramel. Um, jasmine, orchid, and white chocolate with base notes of creamy musk, otis, root, and woody notes. So like I said, pretty much almost identical to the original, just a little bit different. So with this one, it does smell very, very, very similar to the original Fantasy. But you can smell a slight difference. Um, it's a little more, it's a lot lighter. Um, mainly with that just being it's the fact that it's an Eau de Toilette this time and not an Eau de Parfum. So it's a lot, a lot lighter than the original Fantasy. Um, except for, I feel like this one's a little more creamier. Um, it's not like Rocker Femme. It's just basically a lighter, airier version of the original Fantasy. I feel like this would almost just kind of be like, um, it, I, there's not really much better way to say it than it's just a lighter, airier version of Fantasy. The caramel note is adds a little bit more creaminess to it. I feel like the cupcake added that warmth to the fragrance, and it still has that warmth. It's just not as heavily on the warmth. Um, cupcake was kind of that main accord with the original Fantasy, and with that, they replaced it with the caramel, and it, the caramel does stand out. And you get a little bit more of a syrupy um, warmth and sweetness than you do of like a cakey sweetness, if that makes sense. If you have smelled the original Fantasy, you know exactly what I mean. So, but it's just a light, lighter area. And with this being an Eau de Toilette, it only lasts on me about four hours, if that. Um, but I did enjoy the, it while I wore it. Um, doesn't, I mean, I really, really like this version. I feel like this would be a better summertime version to wear. Um, just because it's not as warm and heavy. And the one thing I thought was a little weird about this bottle, just kind of off the random, is it has this little, like, numbers on it. And there's also, if I can find out where it's hiding. Is this where it's at? I'm missing a crystal. I am so sad about that. Look at that. I am missing a crystal. And I don't even know where it went. It's just hiding, and I can't find it, and I'm so sad about it. So... There you guys go. There, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching, and thanks for um, 
watching my review of Britney Spears Fantasy Eau de Toilette Renner Edition. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, thanks, guys, so, so much. Bye.